Hi, this is Josh from Grapplezilla, and today we're going to talk about a question that's often asked, which is, how does Luta Livre differ from Bra Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, or BJJ? Now, before I start this video, if you can like and subscribe, it really helps my channel. And if you see me doing ticks, I got Tourette syndrome, so can't do anything about that. So, Brazil is a superpower when it comes to modern grappling martial arts, uh, especially due to the explosion of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu since the mid-90s. Yet, there's another grappling art uh, that comes out of the jungles of Brazil, and it's a very effective grappling art known as Luta Livre. Many successful MMA fighters have come from a Luta Livre background, uh, including Marco Huas, uh, Jose Aldo, Darren Till, uh, Renato Sobral, uh, Alexandre Franco Nogueira, who was very famous with his uh, guillotine, and uh, Jesse uh, Calvacanti. Now, Modern Luta Livre uh, share many, shares many characteristics with uh, Nogi BJJ, especially nowadays. Both have submissions, allow ground positions, can fight off the back, um, and both have been successfully used in MMA. So that said, the question arises, if they're so similar, how does Luta Livre differ from Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? Okay, and let's get to it. First of all, Luta Livre does not use the gi, okay? Um, this has led to a large benefit when adapting Luta Livre to MMA, as grap uh, grappling and gripping uh, with the gi is not much, uh, without the gi is not much different than in uh, MMA than in Luta Livre. Now that said, there are a few schools of Luta Livre that have adopted uh, gi training, such as uh, Marcelo Brigadeiro of uh, Astro Fight Team in Brazil, but this is a very small percentage of the Luta Livre community, okay? Now the second is uh, Luta Livre includes striking, okay? Um, and the striking looks very similar to boxing or Muay Thai. Um, and also they, Luta Livre also teaches how to strike on the ground very effectively, um, which has led to a very smooth transition to mixed martial arts. Now, on top of that, Luta Livre also has uh, submission before position grappling. Okay, and this has a lot to do that Luta Livre's roots are from catch wrestling. And catch wrestling has that philosophy of submission for fourth position, and of course that went to Luta Livre. Now this can definitely see, be seen in the Luta Livre curriculum, as the grappling curriculum is uh, definitely more submission-based uh, than position and sweep-based that you would see more in Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, now what I mean by that is that Jiu-Jitsu, you have so many adaptations to positions. Example, the guard which makes jiu-jitsu fantastic because every position, they have a guard to deal with something. But Luta Libri is a little bit less developed there. Now, this doesn't mean that Luta Libri doesn't teach positions or escapes or sweeps, but they will always try to punish the opponent, opponent and create um, opportunities at any given chance, okay? Another thing that differs Luta Libri is Luta Libri does not emphasize the guard as much as Brazilian jiu-jitsu does. Okay, BJJ, for example, has a tremendous advantage when it comes to the guard. And Jiu-Jiteros use it uh, offensively to submit. They know how to deal with the guard, how to get out of the guard. As well as when they are in the guard, they know how to get to other dominant positions from it, if not submit. Now, although Luta Livre doesn't teach the guard as much as Jiu-Jitsu, there are some great guard players who have come from Luta Livre. So that has to be noted. But Luta Livre emphasizes all positions where attacking a limb uh, going for a choke and striking as possible, okay? A huge difference between Luta Livre and uh, Jiu-Jitsu also is that there's more emphasis on scrambling uh, than BJJ, and there's a natural reason why. Uh, since Luta Livre does not have a heavy emphasis on the guard, as BJJ does, there has, um, there's a natural um, ability to look at inferior positions differently, right? Jiu-Jitsu, for example, when they have an inferior position, they're going to try, like, for example, turtle, they're going to try to, most of the time, replace it with a guard. And, and that's great, right? But Luta Livre uh, will try to attain a dominant position over that and not being the guard. And usually that dominant position is going to be a top position. And in the, in the process, is going to be attacking for the submission when doing so, even if the position isn't there, okay? Now, in order to attain a better top position... Um, a Luta Livre uh, practitioner is going to scramble against a resisting, resisting opponent, where in BJJ, a lot of times uh, a Jiu Jitsu will simply re readjust the hip position and place the opponent back in their guard. 
okay? Um, another thing is that submission is the name of the game in Lucha Libre. Now, this does not mean that jiu-jitsu does not, has, has no submissions because they are amazing. I'm a jiu-jitsu, I, I do jiu-jitsu as well. But this has to be known because there's two major differences between BJJ and Lucha Libre when it comes to submissions, okay? From day one that a new practitioner of Lucha Libre enters a, an academy, uh, they're going to learn leg locks, leg locks. And it's not going to be uh, just the basic leg locks. It's going to be heel hooks, uh, knee, uh, knee bars, calf slicers, toe holds, etc. And they're learning from day one. The second is that Lutu Livery is going to teach all submissions, including neck cranks and including the can opener. So the can opener is generally not taught in most jiu-jitsu schools as an effective way of opening the guard. It's when, when I'm in someone's guard and I will take their neck and bring it towards their chest, right? In this manner. And it can place a lot of, um, it can injure the opponent and it can place a lot of stress on the neck. So generally it's not allowed in jiu-jitsu competitions and it's not allowed, it's not even taught in a lot of jiu-jitsu schools. But Lutu Livre will teach all the neck cranks and these dangerous submissions that you don't get all the time in jiu-jitsu schools. It's not to say that jiu-jitsu schools don't teach it, okay? Because I know some people are going to be like, oh, but we teach it, of course. But it's not mainstream, okay? Another one's Lutu Livre is much more valid to the based. And it's because Lutu Livre fighters are, are practicing striping, striking and grappling. They also practice takedowns, okay, that are better suited to an opponent who can strike or choke during the takedown attempt. Because what you practice is how you uh, are going to perform. And because they're practicing striking and grappling, when they go for that takedown, they know a knee could come or an elbow or a guillotine. So it is a little bit better for valet to do from the, from the get-go, okay, especially modern uh, MMA. Uh, Luta Livre is much, much smaller as a community than BJJ, okay? In total, uh, in terms of total practitioners and the size of the community, uh, BJJ has millions, if not tens of millions, and rightly so, it's an amazing martial art. Luta Livre does not, okay? It's a small community. Now, that said, Luta Livre is gaining a ton of uh, popularity because many, many people are looking for other grappling martial arts that is not BJJ, as well as the grappling martial arts that include striking and no gi as well. So Luta Livre is one of the ones that's starting to arise. And you see it in, in especially uh, not in the US, but in Europe, you see a lot more Luta Livre academies opening and it's gaining popularity. Now, another thing is Luta Livre is not as developed as Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And there's a reason why. BJJ has an amazing system of technical opt optimization. Now, this is due to the fact there are so many practitioners in BJJ and so many BJJ tournaments in the world, okay? And with such a large uh, number of practitioners, it speeds up the evolution of BJJ techniques as everyone wants to be technically superior and ahead of the competition in order to win, right? And uh, Luta Libre doesn't have that. Now, this huge ecosystem of grappling comp competition has made BJJ very effective against other grapplers, okay? And other grappling arts too, as BJJ is always evolving at a very fast pace. And you see it. You Like if you look at the Abu Dhabi from four years ago or five years ago, everyone was into leg locks. And if you look at the this year's Abu Dhabi, 2022, leg locks were there, but people are already evolving to get out of them. Now it's wrestling, right? And probably in 2024, 2026, probably I would, I would guess would be the closed guard to deal with people wrestling. And it's always evolving. It's a cat and mouse game. Now, Lou Delivery still has not achieved this uh, level of optimization. And it's a lot to do with this, just much less people practicing it. Okay. Now, in conclusion. Uh, there is no doubt that uh, Luta Livre is different from Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, and that both arts actually have a lot to offer for those people who practice it. Now, as time goes by, we're starting to see more, in MMA, more MMA fighters incorporate more martial arts into their mixed martial arts. Uh, especially grappling training and trying to always try to get from both worlds. Okay. And... Although Luta Livre was the enemy of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu prior, a lot of people might even be still in some circles. Uh, I don't think it's the same as it was in the 80s or 90s. And um, I think 
you're going to see more people from the delivery, like for example, they're starting to do the gi, adapt to what is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And you're seeing in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu that more and more people are doing no gi. And naturally, probably those people would do striking in the same school and eventually they'll start looking like Luta Libre. So um, check out Luta Libre. It's very nice. Like, I think it's a great martial art. A lot of good guys came out of like uh, Alexander, uh, Alexandre Noguera. He was in Japan choking everyone with a guillotine. It, it was insane. And uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Once again, I got Tourette's. I can't help ticking if you think if I'm high on drugs or something. I'm not. And enjoy and have a good day.